In this video, we're taking horrific sounding audio like this and treating the room so that it ends up sounding like this. Believe it or not, I have been working on the sound treatment in this room for over a month now. Sennheiser sent me their MKH416 shotgun microphone. This microphone is incredibly nice. It sounds great if it's in a good environment, which this room was not. I really wanted it to work for this setup, and so I've been killing myself to try to get the echo and resonance out of this room. Let me show you what I've been going through. Now, first of all, I came in and put a ton of curtains up along the two walls that I'm going to be speaking towards right here. I also put some rugs down and I was hoping this would be enough, but it wasn't at all. All right, this is an audio check, one, two, one, two. Even though I got heavy velvet curtains, they weren't heavy enough. And so I decided to install a sound blanket on the wall behind this cove that I'm speaking into. Three, two, one, what do I sound like? This still wasn't enough, so I purchased small acoustical panels off of Amazon and I stuck them to the ceiling above me here. So at this point, I've got curtains here, I've got curtains here, I've got the acoustic panels up above me, but I still hear a little something. I was still hearing lots of echo in the room and I did tons of tests to try to figure out where it was coming from. I've got a uh, light stand here and I'm gonna put a sound blanket on it and I'm gonna walk around and put it in different places and see if I can figure out where this stupid humming is coming from. So it's coming from that hallway back there. Oh, wow, that's way better. Okay, we can work with that. I figured out that a lot of the echo was coming from the entrance to this room. So I hung up a large sound blanket on one wall. On the adjacent wall, there's a window. I put curtains up there. I also put rugs on the floor and I got things sounding pretty good, but I was still getting a little echo back there and I figured out it was coming from up really high. So I added a few acoustical panels and then I also added some fabric along the ceiling as well. Okay, we just put a sound blanket up around that corner. It does sound better. Check, check. So at this point, I feel like the echo overall was under control, but there was this one resonant note that I could not get rid of. I literally can build a fort around me and listen to this. Hang. Hang, hang, hang. It doesn't matter if I'm under here. Hang, hang, or I come out. Hang, hang. I ended up adding two more sound blankets to this wall over here and to one more wall over here, but you could still hear this one note. I'm literally taping towels to the ceiling. It's still doing it. I'm trying to put all these little panels in here. I'm wondering if it's coming from in there. I'm shoving this in the ceiling. I don't know. So I am now going scorched earth. I wanted this office to look nice. I'm kind of giving up on that now. I'm going to take a gigantic sound blanket and I'm gonna to try to screw it in the ceiling above me where I'm talking. And hopefully that will cut down on some of this reverb. We shall see. Audio check, 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 hung, hung. It sounds a little better, but not as good as I would hope. So after literally a month of working on this, I have given up the idea that I'm going to get this room perfect. And instead, we're going to have to cut this resonant note once we get back into post. In Premiere, open up the audio track mixer and click on the little arrow. I've got audio coming in at different levels on the right and the left channel. So first I add a fill right with left effect on the clip so that our audio comes in even on both sides. Now it's time to add an equalizer. First, I'll boost the highs and the lows to get yes, the audio sounding better overall. Besides coat my entire ceiling. Besides coat my entire ceiling. This may be as good as it gets. I, I don't know what else I can. Then I'll find a point where I'm humming that problem resonant sound and I'll raise the level of that frequency to confirm that I've found it. Hang, 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 hang. Then I can cut that exact frequency out. I made sure to change the width so that I'm only cutting out the problem area and I'm not cutting out other tones. This may be as good as it gets. I don't know what else I can do besides coat my entire ceiling. Next up, I added a multi-band compressor and I personally like the broadcast sound. Ceiling. This may be as good as it gets. I don't know what else I can do besides coat my entire ceiling. Finally, I add noise reduction to cut down on any ambient room noise, like my air conditioner. 
This may be as good as it gets. I, I don't know what else I can do besides coat my entire ceiling in blankets. This may be as good as it gets. I, I don't know what else I can do besides coat my entire ceiling in blankets. So let's see how far we've come working on this over the last month. All right, this is an audio check. One, two, one, two, three, two, one. What do I sound like? Three, two, one. We're doing another audio check. Check, check, one, two. Check, check, one, two. Audio check. Check, check, hung, hung. And this is what I sound like today. Certainly not perfect, but good enough. I have got to move on to other things.